All right, we're going to read our uh, Scholastic News Magazine. We're going to read uh, pages two and three, uh, 2021 Year in Review again. Then we're going to read uh, the article about China. <clears throat> and then we're going to read um, um, I Play All Kind of Sports article. And then Are There Enough Games? This article and then the article here at the bottom. Okay, read it, read it, and we. That's it. Okay, so let's go back to this and start uh, reading this. Follow along. World Events 2021 Year in Review As the world gets ready to ring in 2021 Year in Review As the world gets ready to ring in 2022, here's a recap of a few of the biggest headlines of the past year. As you read, identify and describe two ways that COVID-19 had an effect on the past year. Summer Olympics After a delay of a year due to COVID-19, the 2020 Summer Olympics finally took place. The Games kicked off on July 23rd in Tokyo, Japan. Team USA won a total of 113 medals. That's more than any other country that competed. Gymnast Suni Lee became the first Asian American to be named the Olympic all-around gymnastics champion. A Stormy Year One of many storms in 2021, Hurricane Ida struck Louisiana on August 29th. A hurricane is a spinning storm with high winds that forms over warm ocean water. A hurricane can be hundreds of miles wide. When it moves over or close to land, it can flood towns and destroy homes. Most hurricanes that hit the U.S. form over the Atlantic Ocean. Ida had winds of up to 160 miles per hour and ripped through nine states. On September 1st, the remnants of Ida dumped a record amount of rain in the Northeast, and more than 50 people died. Getting to Work On January 20th, Joe Biden was inaugurated, or sworn in, as the 46th President of the United States. Kamala Harris officially became the nation's first female vice president that day. We watched Vivo. The COVID-19 pandemic kept many people away from public spaces, including movie theaters. To help increase the number of viewers, some movies in 2021 had first showings at both theaters and in homes. One example is Vivo, which came out in August. It features the voice and songs of Lin-Manuel Miranda, who created the musical Hamilton. In Vivo, he plays a kinkajou, also known as a rainforest honey bear. Be awesome! In July, Zayla Avant-Garde, 14, of Louisiana, became the 2021 Scripps National Spelling Bee champ. To win, she correctly spelled the word Mariah. Zayla is the first African-American to win the competition. Communities What's up, world? China Take a peek at life in this faraway country. Are you ready to learn about the Red Dragon? That's one of China's many nicknames. To many Chinese people, the dragon is a symbol of strength and good luck. China is a country in Asia, and it has the world's largest population. Around 1.4 billion people live there. That's about four times the number of people in the United States. Civilization in China goes back thousands of years. Festivals help keep the country's old and new traditions alive. 
One event is the Harbin Ice Festival. The festival began in 1963 and has grown every year since. Today, visitors can see life-sized castles, six-story towers, and sculptures of creatures like dragons, all made of snow and ice. Keep reading to learn more about this incredible nation. Creature feature. Giant pandas live in mountain forests where they eat bamboo and climb trees. They can weigh more than two hundred pounds. Pandas used to be endangered. People hunted them and destroyed their forest habitats. But now China protects pandas, so their numbers are rising. Celebrate. The Chinese Lantern Festival is held 15 days after the Lunar New Year. People welcome good fortune with bright lanterns or hanging lights. To celebrate, they dance, march in parades, and watch fireworks. Let's eat. Hot pot is a stew that cooks while you eat it. Family and friends gather around this bubbling pot of soup. They add meat, vegetables, and other ingredients, and wait while it cooks. Sauces like chili garlic oil are used for dipping. Yum. Fun and games. A popular game in China is Jianshu. Players use feet and knees to pass a light object called a Jianzi or shuttlecock back and forth. The Jianzi can be made with a coin, paper, and colorful feathers. Look at this! The Great Wall of China is the world's biggest structure. It was originally more than thirteen thousand miles long. That's about five times the distance between Los Angeles and New York City. The wall was built over thousands of years to protect China from attacks. Map it out. The capital city of China will host the 2022 Winter Olympics early next year. What is the name of the capital? Say hello. Ni hao. That's hello in Mandarin. There are different Chinese languages, but Mandarin is the one used the most. So the 22 Winter Olympics—that's next month, February second. Yeah, pretty awesome. My story. I play all kinds of sports. Emma D'Antonio is a wheelchair athlete from New York. Here's how this ten-year-old rolls. Last year, I started playing basketball with the New York Rolling Fury. In June, our team went to the National Wheelchair Basketball Association Championships in Kansas. We played against nine other teams, and we won third place. One of our last games was super exciting. My teammate made the winning basket in the last ten seconds. We all cheered. I don't give up. I've been in a wheelchair for about three years. In 2018, I got sick with something very rare called acute flaccid myelitis. At first, I couldn't move anything from my neck down. But after a lot of hard work, I can now move everything but my left leg. I use a special wheelchair to play basketball. It's faster and lighter than the one I use every day, and it doesn't have brakes. I had trouble dribbling the basketball at first. Now I dribble up and down the court and shoot the ball. My older brother is an athlete too. He tried my basketball wheelchair once. He couldn't believe how hard it was to dribble and wheel down the basketball court. All-around athlete. Basketball isn't my only sport. 
I play wheelchair tennis and hockey, and I compete in track and field. At my first track meet, I did the 400 meter dash and the 200 meter dash. I won them both. I'm going to train hard so I can go to the track and field national championships. It's good that I have a lot of energy. Economy. Are there enough games? Monopoly, Battleship, Scrabble. Are board games like these on your holiday wish list? If so, you might be in for a letdown. With more people looking for fun at home during the pandemic, toy stores sold more board games than usual. Many games are made in other countries and brought here by ship. But this past year, ships have been arriving late, and there haven't been enough workers to unload the ships quickly. That's made it hard for toy stores to keep a supply of games on their shelves. Put all of this together, and there might not be enough games to meet the demand of holiday shoppers. So, what should kids who want board games do? Mark Rosenblum is the owner of Hobby Town in Fairfield, Connecticut. He says, "Shop early, just in case shelves go empty right before the holidays." Sticky situation. Read it and weep. During class, Jenny passes Ben a note that has a mean joke about a new student. Their teacher sees Ben with the note and asks him to read it out loud, but Ben doesn't want to upset the new kid. What should Ben do? All right, let's go ahead and、um, go to your packet and go to page three. All right. So on page three, it says we're going to be comparing communities. Okay. So then here's the two things that we're going to be comparing.、It、says、uh, so. Let's look at China. Okay. So what what is one traditional food or drink? So they have tea, which is in a, which is called hot pot. Okay. What are some ingredients in the food or drink? Just say that loud. Yeah, meat and vegetables. And what's one inter interesting fact、um, about the food or drink? Yeah. And while, while it's cooking, what's everybody doing?、Yeah. They're gathering together around it, right? And just chit chatting. Yeah, too small. People gather around the pot. Gather around while while it is cooking. Okay, all that goes in that box. Like in our community, what's one tradition of food that we know that we would eat? Okay. Turkey. What are some? What would be some ingredients? Huh? Obviously, the turkey itself. Okay. The Did your parents put anything stuffing? Right. 
maybe some type of seasoning. Okay. And uh, what's one interesting fact about the food? Tomorrow when you eat it, don't you also gather, people gather together to, 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 to have a meal together? All right, guys. So we're we're gonna highlight some important information, okay? So this in this article right here, this one, okay, in this one, it was a year in, in review, right? Okay. So this was about big news that happened in the in the in the year. So maybe somewhere somewhere just write big news. Big news events of the year. Okay. Big news events of the year. Okay. Uh, one thing that is important, you see where right here where it says hurricane. Okay. It does tell you what a hurricane is. I want to underline that. A hurricane is a spinning storm with high winds that forms over warm water. I know, I'm trying to find find something to... So you're underlining this. Ah. Underline in this. A hurricane is a, storm, a spinning uh, storm with high winds that forms over warm ocean water. Okay. Sorry if you can't see that. I'm just acting weird. Hold on. Give me a second. So right now, just uh, somewhere, somewhere on the, on the article, somewhere, write big news events of the year. That was the main idea of the article, okay? All right. Okay. Now you see where it says, um, uh, where it says a stormy, a stormy year, okay? And here they, they tell you what the main idea is. Okay, so it's a hurricane is a spinning storm with high winds that forms over warm ocean water. Go ahead and underline that. Is that better? So a hurricane is a spinning storm with high winds that it forms over warm ocean water so that's important okay And according to the article, COVID-19 affected what? Actually, right here. Right here. Okay. COVID-19 affected uh, 
the number the number of people that went to the movies. So it kept away people from uh, public places, which includes the movie theaters. Okay. Yeah, perfect. That's awesome. So that's what we need to underline. Can we underline that, please? All right. Uh, go to the next article. The China one. Let's see. It's this one right here. Underline this. Now I'm going to use a different color because you'll be able to see it. Underline this. You ready? Mm -hmm. Underline that part. It says China is a country in Asia. It has the world's largest population. Underline that. Okay. You see the section right here where it says fun and games? It's about a popular game in China that's called Zhangzi. Okay. So this helps you understand how the game is played because they, they tell you how to play it, right? You kick it with your, uh, pass it with your knees and feet. Okay. Look at the map. See the map? Um, circle this for me. Mongolia. Circle that. Okay. Circle that. And then go on to the next page. The part where it says I play all sports. Underline this. It's in the middle section. It's it is it's faster and lighter than the ones I use every day, and it doesn't have breaks. Underline that. Okay, and then move over to the article that says enough games. This one right here. Underline this. Supply is the available amount. of that product. Underline that part. Can you underline that please? It's in that box right here. Or circle it. Maybe maybe that might be better. 
just make sure you somehow circle that or the underline it. Okay. All right, and then in this section right here, says what? So underline this. Okay, the reason why there's a high demand is because with more people looking for f uh, for fun at home during the pandemic. Okay, toy stores sold more board games than usual. Many games are made in other countries, so it's hard to get the shipment. Okay, so it's actually this. Why is there a demand? It's because people are looking uh, for games to play at home because they can't go out. Last year, you weren't able to really go outside. 